Hi Taurus, it's Elle here to do your oracle reading for this week in July. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Taurus. Thank you Lord God for blessing the Taurus with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so of course, let's see what you're dealing with. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we have spiritual growth. So, um, some of you are are really trying to, you know, dive deep into your spirituality, whatever that may mean for you, whatever that is for you in terms of what you believe in. Um, you may even be creating your own um, type of spirituality, but spiritual growth here. Uh, some spiritual practice you may be engaging in now, something new. You also may be learning about uh, spirituality, religion, and, and the different modalities. So, um, very good and kudos to, okay, kudos to you. True gem. Okay, so you have um, something unexpected. Expect the unexpected from the least expected person, <laughs> says this card. Um, a gift, jewelry. Um, a good word or insight, expect something unexpected, okay? Um, it says True Gem here, okay? What is Taurus dealing with this week? Fair male, you could be the fair male. Um, if you're not, then you're dealing with someone who has fair, uh, fair skin. Maybe even fair hair. If not fair hair, they definitely have fair skin. Maybe even fair eyes, eye color. Um, they could be uh, European descent or have that in their ethnic makeup. So uh, that could be important to you. Um, let's see. Or people real people ask you about your ethnicity a lot here with the fair male coming up. Okay. Uh, wow, and then the dark male. So you got two polar opposites. I don't know if you if something is opposing you or um, you're trying to get in control of two things that are pulling you in two different directions. Okay, um, something is in opposition with each other. It could be a job, it could be a business, it could be person, place, or thing. I don't know, but something is in direct opposition. Communication here. Um, Expect some communication via text message, email. Um, communication may disturb you at times. Something about being pulled into two different directions. I don't know if people communicate with you on your phone for work or business or being just pulled here with the fair male and the dark male coming up. Now, you could be dealing with two men that are. You know, uh, one is a you know a darker uh, hue in skin color, and the other one is lighter. But um, also, this could be in terms of something going on in your life. It's it's whatever you're doing is in direct opposition with another thing. So this would be, I work a job, but I also am trying to start a business or some craft or hobby that I do. It is opposing my job because. There's only 24 hours in a, in a day. How do I get all this done? Um, I have emails coming in from my work. I have emails or text messages coming in from my business. I am in direct communication. I am on the front lines of communication for something. And it definitely puts me in a place of having to focus on um, devices, uh, technology, devices, uh, laptop, phone, something. It could even be like iPhone, um, yeah, iPhone, iPad, something. I don't know. All right, give me one more card for the Taurus. Long distance. Okay, so um, you could be wanting to travel a long distance. Someone is long distance from you, um, or there's a connection where there's a lot of time that has elapsed in terms of you not speaking. Um, not engaging you feel like it will be a long distance or a long journey a long haul to get back to or to go back to 
you could be dealing with a lover who is long distance. You could be talking to someone overseas. You can also be talking to someone online, online communication. There's some gossip surrounding whatever it is you're doing or how you're doing it or what how your life is or you could be engaging in the gossip. You could be the starter of the gossip or, or there's gossip surrounding you. There's something salacious here. Let's see what is going on here for you. Okay. Instant manifestation. Very nice. So you may be seeing 1111. Um, a lot. It, they want you to walk into this portal, into your instant manifestation. If you've been wanting something to happen, it says it's here for you. Um, in an um, in an instant, okay, uh, or in an instant. Um, you also need to uh, you need to walk into that direction. If you're seeing, being a part of synchronicities, people saying something to you, you're hearing it over here, you're doing this or that, and then you see something, it's all coming together. Don't take it for granted, okay? Um, if this wanted to fall out, someone could have no intentions for the con for this connection, okay? Um, if you are in a love connection or a love affair, maybe has someone, they, they, they're coming into the connection or they already have been in the connection and they have no intentions for it. So they intend to crickets, nothing, do nothing. Um, so keep that in mind when you're dealing with people. If you feel that way, then it's probably that is the universe trying to speak to you in terms of um, maybe someone not having intentions for you or towards you having no intention for um, a connection. Somebody is waiting for you to communicate with them. You may have two different people that you like for two different reasons. They serve two different purposes. Um, someone is waiting for your communication. When you put down one, you pick up the other. You juggle. Somebody could be long distance from you. There could be the element of surprise happening here. Um, some of you have two or more baby daddies, ex-husbands, you're waiting for communication from them or they're waiting for communication from you in terms of maybe getting the kids or seeing the children, something of that nature. Um, synchronicities are going to be very important for you, Taurus. If it, you saw it over here, if you heard it over here, and then you went over here and you heard it over there, follow follow the yellow brick road, okay? Um, let's see. Someone is saying loving you is like an addiction. You could be addicted to someone or someone's addicted to you. Someone is trying to return to you or you're trying to return to someone, a changed man or woman. Someone feels like this is a match made in heaven. You could be in a very loving, caring relationship where you feel like loving this person is just an addiction. There's someone who, who wants to return to you long distance. That's that long distance where maybe some, there's a, they could be long distance from you. If not, it's just so much that has happened, so much time that has elapsed between the two of you. So it feels like you know a long distance between the two. But someone is um, definitely still in love with you and they want to come back to you. A changed woman and or man. Let me get two more cards. Okay. Um, this could be an older man dealing with a younger woman. There's an energy of somebody being off and on, hot and cold. We see that those two polarities with the fair male and the black, the dark male. Um, someone is off, someone is on, someone is hot, someone is cold. And they could be acting that way and communicating with you that you're waiting for communication from them or vice versa they're waiting for it from from you um at the bottom of the deck we have women fall in love in the presence of and men fall in love in the absence of so maybe with the absence of you someone has fallen in love with you it could be a man um a woman could already be in love with someone else uh, because of the things that they do each and every day. You could be deeply in love with somebody, just being around them. You love being around them. It's like an addiction. You feel like it's a match made in heaven. There's also an element of someone leaving a connection and now someone realizing that they are in love. 
um, let me pull you a few of the Sabilas. Okay. Let's see. Thief. Okay. So someone is a, a, a literal thief. Do keep in mind that theft goes on in, in many different ways um, than just, you know, taking um, something physical from you. Someone could be stealing your intellectual property. Someone could be stealing your time, your energy, your essence. Do you feel drained when you're around this person? Do you feel like you are the only one giving? They're stealing from you. They're taking from you. Um, this also could talk about a cheating scandal. Therefore, um, yeah, um, therefore, yeah, cheating scandal. Therefore, there's a lot of gossip surrounding you, okay? Let's see. Uh, misfortune so something misfortunate all right so watch your things because something could happen to your your person something on you or, or or your valuables watch your valuables don't leave it out to the public or out to be you know out in the open Something misfortunate can happen here. Um, despair. Someone is at a, a place of not being able to cope with. They're flying off the handle. Um, one minute they're okay, the next minute they're not. That's that hot and cold energy also. Um, there's just an inability to cope with the, of ch the change. So they're in despair. Also, they could be desperate for something or someone. Uh, because somebody's left the connection. Messenger. So someone is waiting for um, some message. By any mode of communication. Or there's messages that come to you. Either in person. Or there's messages that come to you. You have to deal with. Um, be focused on. Uh, we got some. We got a yes answer here. We have an approval. They're waiting for that. Of a trusted friend or a loyal person coming into your life or has already been there or you feel like the person you're with is not only your lover, husband, wife, but they are your friend. They are loyal, devoted to you. And maybe you make money with this person or this person helps to increase your money or, or there is a friend who could give you good advice or is loyal to you who can, you can make money with or help you increase money. Jealousy and the other woman and the, the green eyed monster is here. She is showing up as the other woman. Uh, the other woman doesn't necessarily have to be someone that you are um, in a romantic relationship with. It could be someone that you are, uh, it could be a family member, loved one. There's someone waiting, spying, gossiping about you. We see that a lot. It's We've got gossip, we've got despair, we've got waiting, so we've got someone, um, could be the other woman waiting for, somebody's waiting for the other shoe to drop, waiting for um, it all to come together. The intuitive message I got off camera, which I should have said earlier, was open up. I don't know what you need to open up. You need to open up your mind, open up your eyes. Okay, so you got compulsion and addiction or symptoms of the problem, not the problem. You need to heal your sacral chakra. So addiction, compulsive energy activity, they are not the problems. These are symptoms to a, a, a larger issue, an underlying issue. Addiction comes in so many different facets. You can be addicted to eating, overeating, overspending. Something, uh, of course, sex and, you know, pornography, all of those things. Some of you need to open up your third eye chakra so that you can envision your future. Because you're not able to envision. So vision is when you are here in the present, but in your mind you go into the future and you see where you want to be. Therefore, you come back to the present and you start to make progress, aspirations, or you start to aspire to that vision can you envision your future your third eye chakra okay so um, let me get you one tarot card that sums up this reading 
tarot card that sums up this reading. Heal your sacral chakra. The sacral chakra is right below the belly button. It could have something to do with your reproductive organs and everything below the belly button. Um, it could be um, sexual addiction. It could just be compulsive activity. Um, it could be um, maybe you try to control relationships or control things by way of sex. You need to, if you're dealing with some childhood trauma, or if you are just childish altogether, you need to grow up. This card talks about growing up. It talks about having argument, disagreement, because uh, of childish behavior, childish ways. Someone not seeing that they're childish and seeing that they're the cause, the root cause of issue. It talks about being in service too, also. Being on the right path here, analyzing uh, strategizing and realizing that something is right for you with that 11 11 card walk through that portal okay so this is your reading Taurus I hope that it resonates for you if it does go over to the website book your own reading there take advantage of an oracle reading like this one or any other reading you can also ask a question or two by texting the question to the number below paying for your question receiving the answer to your question on your mobile device you can also donate to the channel if you're feeling moved to do so if you took something from the reading let the exchange happen give back if you're feeling moved to do so if you can't do any of that hit the like button thank you guys take care many blessings to you